Scleroderma, systemic sclerosis, crest. Scleroderma is a rare autoimmune disease that affects the connective tissues of the body. It is characterized by the hardening and thickening of the skin and internal organs due to the accumulation of collagen, a protein that forms the connective tissues. Scleroderma can affect people of any age, gender, or ethnicity, but it is more common in women than in men. The cause of the disease is not fully understood, but it is believed to be a combination of genetic and environmental factors. There are two main types of scleroderma, localized and systemic. Localized scleroderma usually affects only the skin, while systemic scleroderma can affect the skin, internal organs, and blood vessels. Systemic scleroderma is further divided into two subtypes. Limited cutaneous systemic sclerosis, LCSSC, and diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis, DCSSC. Scleroderma is diffuse in 20% of cases and limited in 80%. Limited scleroderma is also known as Crest syndrome, calcinosis, rhino, esophageal dysmotility, sclerodactyly, telangiectasia. Symptoms of scleroderma vary depending on the type and severity of the disease. It includes Rhino syndrome Increased vascular reactivity of the fingers beginning with pain and pallor, white, or cyanosis, blue, followed by reactive hyperemia, red. Rhino is precipitated by cold and emotional stress. Some cases lead to ulceration and gangrene. Skin manifestations Fibrosis of the hands, face, neck, and extremities. Telangiectasia and abnormalities of pigmentation occur. Scleroderma gives diarrhea because of bacterial overgrowth in large diverticula. Gastrointestinal. Esophageal dysmotility with GERD, large mouth diverticuli of small and large bowel. Renal. Sudden hypertensive crisis lung. Fibrosis leading to restrictive lung disease and pulmonary hypertension. Cardiac, myocardial fibrosis, pericarditis, and heart block. Lung disease gives right ventricular hypertrophy. Limited scleroderma versus diffuse scleroderma. Limited scleroderma, greater than distal to elbows and knees greater than can involve face and neck greater than anti-SCL 70 plus greater than pulmonary hypertension. Diffuse scleroderma, greater than proximal to elbows and knees greater than can involve face and neck greater than anti-centromere plus greater than pulmonary fibrosis. Diagnostic tests. ANA, positive in 85% to 90%, but non-specific. ESR, usually normal. SCL70. The most specific test is the SCL70, anti-topoisomerase but present in only 30% of those with diffuse disease and 20% in limited diseases. Anti-centromere antibodies are extremely specific for Crest syndrome. Anti-centromere. Present in half of those with Crest syndrome. Treatment. Methotrexate slows the underlying disease process of limited scleroderma. Penicillamine is not effective. Renal crisis. ACE inhibitors. Use even if the creatinine is elevated. Esophageal dysmotility, PPIs for GERD. Rhino, calcium channel blockers. Pulmonary fibrosis, cyclophosphamide improves dyspnea and PFTs. Pulmonary hypertension, bosentan ambrisentan, endothelin antagonist. Sildenafil, prostacyclin analogues, iloprost, triprostenol, apoprostenol. Thromboembolic disease. Riochiguat, CGMP stimulator. In severe cases, organ transplantation may be necessary. Crest versus scleroderma. Crest syndrome is calcinosis, Raynaud's phenomenon, esophageal dysmotility, sclerodactyly, and telangiectasia. When it also involves the lungs, heart, and kidney, it is scleroderma. Scleroderma gives the same presentation as crest, but adds more organ dysfunction. Crest can cause primary pulmonary hypertension, though the lungs themselves are normal, 